Hey, hey, hey! So my pantry is coming together. It's almost close to being done. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna work on a feature, little feature item that will store the bottles like this. I started out by finding a piece of plywood in my scrap pile and cut it to width. Then I marked the center line and the location for each of the bottle holes, bottle neck holes that I wanted to drill. Then I used an empty wine bottle to play around with the angle. And once I found an angle I liked, I traced the neckline onto the wood so that I could follow that angle as I drilled my holes. Then I used another piece of scrap plywood, the piece that I had cut off earlier, and glued it on to the back of the piece that I had just marked. I wanted it to be extra thick. I'm not sure if a single piece of plywood would hold a wine bottle safely, but I figured double thickness, more material to hold the weight of the wine bottle. I don't know, couldn't hurt. I didn't try to clamp it, I just used a bunch of paint cans and um, weighted it down and let it dry. And then I had to set up my drill press before I could actually drill the holes. Uh, if you saw the video, you saw how well the setup went and how it actually functioned is a whole other story. This is crazy. I don't think this is gonna work very well. But I'm gonna try it. I try crazy things all the time. Drilling a really long board at a really steep angle was very difficult. This was my trial run with this drill press. So I, I just started out with the drill bit that I had on hand, which wouldn't drill deep enough. So I went and purchased a new bit and I bought a spade bit. I realized I should have gotten a Forstner bit and I still haven't tried my drill press with a Forstner bit, but this spade bit was freaking scary. I didn't like having my face level with the bit, so I climbed up onto my table and finished drilling there. But I'm not sure if it was just the bit, I don't think it was. There's just a lot of play in the spindle arm on this drill press, so there was a lot of wiggle, and I just didn't feel comfortable with it, so I finished <laughs> drilling the holes by hand. So I'm already getting frustrated with this project at this point, but the holes did work so I'm moving ahead. So I sanded the front, back, and inside the holes and because the drilling process did not go super smoothly I put wood filler in the holes in addition to on the front of the piece. I also wrapped a spindle with sandpaper and tried to smooth out the holes as well as I could. I also decided that I needed to enclose the back just in case anyone ever in the future stuck their head into this tiny cabinet and peered through a tiny hole. I didn't want them seeing the unfinished, deep, dark corners of this pantry. I used a spine and created a little triangle, glued and nailed it together. Thought it would work just fine. But when I looked through the hole, I could see the spine. So I had to start over. Well, I didn't have to, but I did. If I wouldn't have looked through the hole, I wouldn't have cared. But since I knew it was there, I had to fix it. This time I went with a little box and I'm happy with the results. I sanded and painted before installation and dry fit and trimmed a couple times. Cut one side of an angle. Yeah, I think that's good. Do I want it out more? No, I want it angled in more. I think I'm right. Ah, that's perfect. Securing this thing into place was a little bit tricky. I had to put a cleat on the wall behind it so I'd have something to nail this to. And then I used a lot of caulk. I cut a piece of wood to match all of the weird angles. And now I'm securing a block of wood on the top of this so I have a way to secure this to the cabinet side, the adjacent cabinet side since there's nothing actually underneath it. It will look like the cabinet side is here underneath, or I mean, <laughs> behind this shared face frame. And then it will sit on my wine rack on the other side and I'll, I'll nail it in there, nail it in there. This is gonna be really ugly <laughs> underneath. If anyone ever pulls this apart, 
hard and looks at it, it's gonna be ridiculous. But I think that if I double that up, it will raise this up to where it needs to be. I nail the bottom face frame onto that shelf and I nail a face frame onto the middle shelf as well. And then I putty and sand and basically I'm just like holding this whole thing together with caulk and cleats and nails and some glue and cutting some little scraps and shoving them in place. It's a real cluster fagazi. about to have some choice words. And I did. I expressed a good many very choice words on this project. In fact, I found myself feeling irritated a lot of the time while assembling this project. I guess it's a combination of working in this tiny space with no elbow room and assembling this ramshackle conglomeration of bits and pieces and trying to make something awesome out of it. It was just irritating, but it did turn out. So that's how it went together. Um, I'm, I'm actually gonna take a, I'm gonna take a couple days away from the pantry right now. I'm just kind of sick of working in the confined space. I'm kind of fed up. <laughs> I just need to take a moment to stretch my limbs and um, refresh, get re-energized for this build. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a couple days and go do something else. I will see you next time with something else. Um, see how how it all how it all goes down <laughs>